I'm going to start by priming my eyelid with the Urban Decay Primer Pot and then I'm going to take Unexpected by Makeup Geek and I'm going to start sweeping it in my crease upward and then I'm going to also bring it into my eyebrow. With a smaller brush, I'm going to take Neptune, which is also by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to start placing it in the middle of where I laid down the Unexpected. To soften the Neptune, I'm going to take some more Unexpected, and with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to go over it. Next, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm going to take the color Gonzo, and I'm just going to put it on top of the blue to brighten it up. To clean up the look, I'm going to take my concealer. I'm using Max Pro Longwear in NW15. Next, I'm going to take NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm going to place it all over my lid for a base. This is going to be really good to make the red really pop when I lay it down. The red that I'm using is NYX's Primal Colors. To create depth, I'm going to take Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm going to place it in between the red and the blue. Make small upward strokes to blend it. Once I've finished, I'm going to go back in with my concealer and clean up the look. The next thing we're going to do is add some sparkles where we place down our red eyeshadow. This is from Shop Violet Voss. It comes with a glue and sparkles. The next thing that we're going to do is make a double winged liner. What you want to do is take a white eyeliner. In this case, I only had a light blue. And you want to start by making it very, very thick. And then what you're going to be doing after is placing a black wing just underneath closer to the lash line. Since I have really light brows, I'm going to take my gel liner by Maybelline and I'm going to fill them in. Once I get closer to my nose, I'm going to take Drama Queen by Makeup Geek. It's a shimmery purple. And I'm going to brush it into my eyebrows. Also, I'm going to make a little tail at the front area of my eyebrow to create almost an evil eyebrow look. Then I'm going to cover my lips with concealer. Once I've covered my lips, I'm going to take my lightest foundation, which is Maybelline 110 Fit, and I'm going to place that all over my face. To set everything, I'm going to take NYX's Mineral Powder. Next, I'm going to take the Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's in light. I'm going to take the Banana Shade and I'm going to place it underneath my eyes. I'm also going to place some of this on my chin and my upper lip. You're going to want to put this on the bridge of your nose as well as on your forehead. Now I'm going to start contouring. I'm going to place some on the temples of my forehead. I'm also going to put some on the sides of my nose and the hollows of my cheeks. Then with a beauty blender, you're going to want to blend. Now for the lips. I'm taking Deep Red, which is a lip liner by NYX, and I'm going to start filling in my lips. You want to make a heart shape. We're going to be going for that classic doll look. Now we're going to fill the lips in with NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. Using the same glitter we used on our eyes, we're going to be placing them on our lips. With a Q-tip, we're going to be applying some Prosade onto our face. Of course, if you don't have Prosade, you can use Spirit Gum. Make sure if you're using either products, you have a good remover for them. And the reason why we're going to be putting this on our face is we need something to allow the scar wax to stick to. Now I'm taking a spatula and I'm just going to fan out the scar wax to make it look flush with my skin. The next thing you want to do is take some cover up and some contour from your contour kit and make the wound look a little realistic. Now I'm going to take some fake blood by Mayron and I'm going to start patting it onto the wound. Taking Bitten and Corrupt, both by Makeup Geek, I'm going to be playing around with those, creating depth to the wound. Take your Prosade or Spirit Gum and place it onto your card and then stick it into the scar wax. Next, I'm going to take some more of that fake blood and I'm just going to fan it onto the card. 
Next, I'm going to be taking Mehron's Paradise Paints, and I'm just going to create almost like some sort of pattern. Of course, you guys can do whatever you'd like. I just kind of winged it here. Uh, I've never used body paints. This is the first time I've done it, so it's not going to turn out very well. Just use your imagination and do what you feel would look awesome. I'm going to take these lashes by Violet Boss, and I'm also going to apply my mascara, which is Benefit They Are Real. We're going to go back to our electric palette. I'm going to be applying that blue color to the bottom lash line. I'm also going to apply a white liner to my waterline. Next, we're going to add Mehron's Dark Stage Blood to the rest of the wounds. Hey, it's Sherry. Um, I did this collab with Deneen Dale. If you want to check her video out, the link will be down below. Uh, we did a collab. Basically, uh, we were looking through Spirit Halloween at costumes, and she said, why don't I uh, do Alice? And I said, well, Alice is Alice. I mean, what what could you possibly do to make Alice interesting so people would want to recreate your look? And she had thought, well, what if she was poisoned? 